What up, everybody? Hi, and thank you for hanging with the Harrisons today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, okay. <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our channel so that you can, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get all of our fabulous videos. I just hop right in on this video because I didn't plan on doing a video today. But the reason why I'm doing this video today is because... Why I'm so dark? Probably because of the lighting. We probably could have better lighting. But the reason why... You got $100 Okay, maybe I should have just put it under something else. Well... I'm taking a quick bite of sandwich before I kill y'all. Your battery y low? Not really. A little bit. I ain't have time to charge it up. Right. I mean, dog. It is. Well, maybe I need to move it. Well, because we had all this stuff on the counter and I just jumped in on this video. Is that better, honey? Oh, yeah. That is a little bit better. But anyway... I just have to tell y'all about Burger King. I stopped by Burger King today after I got off from work. Mm-hmm. And Burger King, they just didn't do us right. Now, I'm not talking about the burger now. Because for the last three days, I've had a Burger King hamburger. And for the last two days, Reg had a Burger King hamburger. And the burger has been so good, it's almost like tasting Burger King again. For the first time, because it had been so long. A long time ago, I used to work for Burger King. One of my first jobs was at Burger King. And I hadn't had Burger King in so long. Red hadn't had Burger King in so long. So, I just had to get me a Burger King two days ago. and been eating Burger King ever since. But I think after today, I'm probably going to chill on Burger King. So, But I do give Burger King food a thumbs up on the Whopper. The Whoppers has always been good. But this is what I'm going to tell you went through the drive-thru and the guy gave me a coffee cup and I said well sir I said it's what? coffee cup right that one right there and I'm like sir I sold the water in a coffee cup and, and the reason why they did it is because they didn't have lids right that's what he said he didn't have lids for the 16 ounce soda cup so I was like sir I said is that the same size of a um, soda cup I said because it looks pretty small right well, it wasn't. Y'all, this is a soda cup. This is a coffee cup. Put them side by side. What he tried to tell me was that the coffee cup at the bottom is, um, it's, I don't know, at the top is larger and the soda cup is smaller. But I said, sir, this is not the same size. So I said, okay. I pulled away from drive through and I Googled it. The size of a Burger King soda cup and the size of a Burger King small coffee cup, both of them. A coffee cup is 16 ounces and a soda cup, a small soda cup, is See, 20 they ounces. They 20 ounces. They like that because she likes to talk. No, no. I would have went in there and, boy, i tell you the truth. I ain't going to tell y'all what I would have did. Please don't tell them what you would have did, honey. Please don't come. So, what I did, I went back. I said, you know what? This just told me the truth. I went back in there and I said, ma'am, what size? I said, what size of cup is that? He I said, 20 asked, ounces. I would have asked for the store manager, who's the manager on duty. Then I would have told him. Then I would have said, what's the store number? I would have got the store number, the manager's name, and the other associate. Associate. And guess what? Corporate officer would be getting an email from me. And I would have got my ticket number, transaction number, and everything. Guess what? I would have got something free out of it. Y'all hear exaggerating? He is not exaggerating. I'm serious. He is not exaggerating. So I went back in and everything, and she said one cup was 20 ounces and one cup was 16 ounces. I said, 
of a male, all he had to do was tell me the truth. And she said that they didn't have lids for the cup. Or they were short on lids. So I guess whoever they can get away with giving a smaller cup, that was, that's what they was going to do. Because when I went back in there, don't this look like a lid, y'all? Don't this look like a lid? When I went back in there, the lady didn't give me any, any, any lip. She just gave me two large, two large, well, gave me another small one, another small one, and then she gave me a 20 ounce one. So that's what I had to get on, get on here, guys, and tell y'all about Burger King and how the guy tried to bamboozle me. But I was too smart for that. I'm like, come on, God. Do you literally think that I am? Do you literally? I mean, he was really insulting my intelligence. That's why I went back in there. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let him get away with this. I'm not going to pull off and just act, and he just act like, all right, I bamboozled another person. I'm like, I'm not going to let him get away with this. And when I left, I said, ma'am, I said, just like you said that y'all are low on lids. I said, that's all he had to say. He, he didn't have to lie. He, you know, don't make, don't make it seem like I'm silly or I'm stupid or something. And I can see this with my own eyes. And this guy just kept going. Just need to know about that story. He just kept going on and on. I'm like, sir, are you serious? So I took it and I poured it into my into this cup right here. And usually it pretty much fills this cup up when I pour a 20 ounce into this, it almost fills it up. Child, it filled it up to right here in that little bitty cup. <laughs> and so that's why I went back in there because he really insulted my intelligence. And uh but I'm telling you, he may have done that, but I'm telling you, this burger is so still good. So you doing a video to tell everybody how it's not going to be a juice? Mm-hmm. No, Burger King. Burger King? Don't blame that on McDonald's. So you tell everybody how Burger King did you. You should be putting all that what you said in an email. They fixed the problem. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. They gave me, they gave me two more drinks. And I'm fine with it, because I ain't got time to be going through all of that. God bless them. So, y'all, we got some good video in. All right, but I just want to say thumbs up to Burger King on the food, but thumb down on the customer service, because they were wrong for that. But the burger, this Burger King, how many of y'all would char grilled burger is absolutely delicious. How many of y'all would let corporate office know about that Burger King? How many of y'all would send the corporate office an email with the person's name, the manager's name that was on duty, and the associate that was on duty? How many of y'all would have done that? Okay, so y'all tell us how many of y'all would have If she reported. had a receipt, I can still do it. So, y'all let us know who all would have reported it. But I'm going to, we're going to shut this video down so that we can finish enjoying these good old burgers. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret on how to save some calories. When you buy a Burger King burger, take the burger, cut it in half. Now, how you going to tell people how to do their own burger? <laughs> Because you got a lot of women out of there want to save some calories. Cut your burger in half. If you want to save some calories, don't stop. Take the top bun of the bottom bun and take it off. And just take the two pieces that you cut with the meat on it and put it together and make you a double decker. And uh, this right here is probably about 200 calories on this, this, this piece of bread. I usually take the top one because it's bigger. If you and wanna, throw it away. If you want to save calories... Zoom by Burger King. Don't stop. <laughs> That's how you save calories. Don't stop at Burger King. <laughs> it's so funny, y'all. But anyway, y'all, I just had to share that with y'all when Burger King tried to bamboozle me and insult my intelligence today. All right, y'all, but don't forget to... Man, I went to O'Reilly the other day when it was raining to get a windshield wiper for Renee's car. The guy told me that they don't install windshield wipers while it's raining. That's about the only time they're going to sell windshield wipers at an auto car is when it's raining. Uh -huh. I know, because I used to work at Walmart. I 
came right home, called corporate office, he did. told him what happened, he did, sit up in my kitchen and told him, he said, the corporate office, Manager said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, I want a free, I want my money back, and I want my windshield wipe to put on. He said, you want to go back to the store? I said, yeah, I'm going to go back to the store. I went back to the store, got my windshield wipe put on, and waiting on a check from O'Reilly. He tells the truth, y'all, because the person told him that they don't put windshield wipers on. But Red knows because he used to work at an auto car. So he knows. Well, he everything he just told y'all is very much true. But see. Same thing I would have did to Burger King. Somebody got to. We got to get balance somewhere. Somebody got to keep the balance, right? I so, would have got this meal I'm right the here. balancer in the family. My next meal from Burger King would have been free. Uh -uh. And he is absolutely telling the truth, y'all. Okay, y'all, so are you done with your stories, honey? Or are you going to tell some more? I'm done. I'm about to ride it out. All right, well, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our channel into the world. I like I said in the beginning. I've got a back pain of about seven, eight, nine and a half. You got a back pain of seven, eight, nine and a half? Yeah, back pain of seven, eight, nine and a half. Put wow. them three together, and that's what it equals to. Oh, wow, honey. Been had it since we came from Louisiana. I'm going to lay hands on him. He said that my, my truck is not comfortable, and we drove my truck, so I'm going to go lay some hands on him. Five hours. And we're going to pass up. that back eight out, eight out hours, in Jesus' up. name. Yeah. All right, y'all. Okay, tell the people about honey, because we didn't ready to get up out of here. Get up out of here. All right, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video into the world so that you can get all of our fabulous videos. All right, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Pull it off, honey. You just said all right. Bye, y'all.